All right, so one more vid tonight. Another movie review I found tonight as I was looking at Time Hop. So we got Congo from 95. I didn't do this one. I, I actually like this movie. Uh, there's something feels like it's missing from the movie. Yeah, it did. Like, it's a great film, but there's something missing. Maybe it's the depth of the story that isn't present. Yeah. Yeah, I think that is. Yeah, that was it. I wanted more background on the culture and the white gorillas as well. Plus, some of the characters wouldn't hurt, too. Eight, seven out of ten. Like, it's a really great film, but it doesn't have... It's got that lack of depth in the story. Most films have that depth. This one is missing depth. And then there's a fun fact. I found out that the gorillas were done by other actors, not actual gorillas. Because it looks so damn real. When I was little and watched it, like, it scared the shit out of me. When I was older and watched it, twice, this is like three different times I've watched it. Like, I thought they were all real gorillas. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fun times. So, yeah, I liked Congo. Um, who was, I know Dylan, it was Dylan somebody. Congo. Come here. I can't remember his fucking name, but he was on Nip Tuck. Dylan Walsh, that's it. This is a good cast, too. Laura Linney, Tim Curry. No, I miss Tim Curry. He's so good. But he's in a wheelchair now, which sucks. Ernie Hudson, Dylan Walsh, John Doe Baker. Wow, Mary Ellen Trainer, really? Son of a bitch. I forgot about her. Bruce Campbell. <laughs> Pretty cool. Yeah, it's a good cast. I enjoyed it. It's a great concept. It just uh lacked the depth it should have had, so. Yeah. But if you don't like book adaptations, if you don't like the cast, the crew, all that shit, you won't have a good time watching this movie. <laughs> um, I think if it had the character background additions, more of that, it would have benefited greatly. Uh, but yeah, it's a short movie. It's just shy of two hours, but yeah. Is it underrated? Uh, slightly, but not really. Is it a must-watch? Sort of. <laughs> if you've never seen it, but if you're if you're a monkey expert and you have everything monkey-wise, and this isn't in your collection, and you haven't watched it at all, you should check it out. Um. If you like mammals, if you like gorillas, definitely check all this shit out. It's cool. I mean, for me, to me, it's cool. It's a good flick. But if you don't like it, that's fine. I'm not going to judge you or anything. I'm not going to come to your house, but you need to fucking watch this and like it like I do. I'm not like that. <laughs> Hell no. Oh, my. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. So... <laughs> Another 90s flick that's pretty good, depending on how you look at it. So, I'm going to get off of here. I'll have my new introduction on my channel done later this week, or maybe next week. i got to write a bunch of shit down. I had it done. I just recorded it a while ago, but I didn't like it, so I got rid of it. Because I forgot some shit, <clears throat> naturally. So, until next time, like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.